हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अगेन हेयर फॉर यू वी हैव कंप्लीटेड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर अप टू द ऑर्गन सिस्टम ओके सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट एंड स्टॉप इट सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम ओके so you can see here body circulatory system the organ system it circulates blood and transport nutrients water and oxygen in the body and also removes waste such as carbon dioxide is called circulatory system okay so here the organ system that circulate blood okay that circulate blood in our body and transport transport means to move from one place to another place so it transport nutrients so what what are nutrients nutrients are certain substances present in food that may cause healthy and strong these substances are called nutrients we have read study in the class 4 okay we have also studied there are five important nutrients needed by our body what are they they are carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals understand so circulatory system also transport vitamins carbohydrates fat minerals and proteins so understand and also the move best such as carbon dioxide is called circulatory system so when is transport oxygen to the cells of our body here they give oxygen and take back carbon dioxide and they move through the lungs okay so now next is parts of circulatory system so here are three parts of circulatory system heart blood and blood vessels so we will study one by one each part okay first we will study heart okay so here you can see heart is a muscular organ located between the lungs in our chest okay so here it is located it is located in between the lungs in our chest he will show you a diagram okay it is tilted towards the left side of the chest cavity and is protected by the rib cage so here rib cage is also new term for you what i will show you diagram okay so you can feel always uh heart is located left side it is tilted towards the left side so you can feel the heart beat in the left portion of our heart okay 
the size of an adult human heart is about the size of a fist so so i will show you the diagram one by one okay so okay uh, in this diagram you can see how it is located the this is heart and it is located it is located like this understand here you can also see in another diagram here left side is rib case and heart is located like this okay here in this diagram you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these 10 ribs and this rib case and heart is located and protected inside the inside rib case okay so now you will see this is fist in this diagram you can see this is fist okay i am uh, okay so this is fist and size of our heart is almost same as the fist of and human or our heart okay understand so you can see here okay so now clear okay okay so now you can see so we have discussed here what is first and how chest cavity is located okay so clear you can also see in this diagram here here is heart blood vessels containing blood uh, you can see all over the body okay so this is called circulatory system now come to our next topic structure and function of heart so here structure and function of heart you can see here but the main function of heart is to pump oxygen and nutrients rich blood to the whole body so what is the function of heart the main function of heart is to pump the blood which is rich in oxygen and nutrients okay the blood vessel carry here you can see blood vessels carry the blood to the various parts of the body okay so blood flows through the blood vessels okay these are very thin like a pipe you can understand why uh, as water flows through the pipe so you can compare here pipe is a uh, blood vessels and water is like a blood okay so here understand so we compare water with blood and pipe with blood vessels clear now it also received blood containing carbon dioxide from all the parts of the body so do you think what happens when 
blood goes to different parts of the body and it give out oxygen to the cells and and they they perform internal respiration there and receive carbon dioxide and come back then they goes to lungs and there they and there blood give out carbon dioxide and take in more oxygen so you have already you have already studies respiration system of breathing in class 4th where oxygen is or oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out and these are these are taken place in lungs okay so so now we have completed up to oxygen up to this point okay we have completed up to this point this point okay so now we will study the structure of the okay structure of the heart first look the diagram of heart here so there are four chamber two upper chamber and two lower chamber okay so here are two atrium so they are atria right atrium and left atrium and lower side there are two ventricles right ventricle and left ventricle okay and here is our aorta you will uh, and it is a uh, largest band uh, okay largest artery in our body okay so here you can also understand human heart consists of four chambers two upper chambers are called atria or auricles atria is a plural form of atrium okay which collect blood from the various part of the body the two lower chambers are called ventricles which which pump out the blood okay so here the heart keeps beating all the time with every beat of the heart the blood gets pumped the okay with every beat cycle is completed with every beat the rate at which our heart beats is is called the pulse okay the rate at which our heart beats okay is called the pulse for an adult human the pulse rate can vary between 60 to 100 beats per minute okay generally it is 72 okay but so you have gone to doctor and you see like this doctor is checking your pulse rate like this you can see in the diagram okay so okay so you can understand how doctor check our heart beat okay clear so 
here we have completed first part of circulatory system is heart we will uh, study circulation of blood later on in the same chapter okay so for now we have completed this now come to blood okay so first of all what is blood the blood is a thick liquid that constantly flows in our body so what is blood blood is a thick liquid okay that constantly flows in our body it is pumped by heart the blood flows in thin pipes called blood vessels we i have already told you blood vessels is like a pipe in which blood flows okay blood is made up of three kinds of cell in a watery liquid called plasma so watery liquid is called plasma and there are three kinds of cells the three kinds of cells in a blood are red blood cells called rbcs white blood cells called wbcs and blood platelets okay you can see the diagram of red blood cells white blood cells and here blood platelets but they are microscopic picture we cannot see via naked eyes we have to use microscope okay so be a very interesting fact why is our blood is red in color okay so in our body blood contains a protein which is called hemoglobin our blood contains a protein called hemoglobin hemoglobin combines with oxygen and become red in color thus making our blood also red okay so what happens here hemoglobin react with oxygen and become red in color that's why our color of our blood is red but you can observe here pure your pure blood is red while deoxygenated or the blood without oxygen do not look so red they look bluish okay so here function of blood first point it transport oxygen absorbed by the lungs to all parts of the body okay i have already told you transport means moving from one place to another place okay so it transport oxygen okay which absorbed by the lungs to all parts of the body okay second point it transport carbon dioxide from the different parts of the body to the lungs so that it can be given out okay i have told you when blood goes to the different parts of the body it exchange gases it give out oxygen and take carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide come back with blood and it goes to lungs 
here it exchange gas so it given out carbon dioxide and taken oxygen here okay so clear now here it transport the nutrients absorbed in intestine to the different parts of the body we have learned in class 4th about the digestive system okay so we know nutrients is absorbed in intestine okay so here it absorbed then goes to the blood and blood circulate throughout the body so it transport nutrients to the whole body okay it carries its products from the various parts of the body to the kidneys to be given out okay we have also studies about excretory system okay so in kidney blood is filtered and as a waste material urine is product which is given out later okay now next very important blood helps in maintaining the temperature of our body okay so here blood help in maintaining that temperature of body you have generally observe olden people feel more cold during winter they they need more clothes they they bath with more or warmer warmer water bhai because they have lack of blood so so their body temperature they cannot maintain their body temperature so they need extra care okay now second last white blood cells have antibodies which defend us from infection and foreign bodies okay so wbc have antibodies antibodies you can understand antibodies is like a guard it's protect us from various diseases okay it may be viral or bacterial diseases or fungal diseases okay last let's let's help the bleeding to clot when we are bleeding you have ever observed that when we are bleeding but after few seconds it get stopped automatically why because of platelets okay so today up to here we have completed and next he will cover in next lecture okay so thank you very much and uh, please uh, revise seriously and if you have doubt then comment okay the or message on whatsapp thank you